will you be applying uh, for UN state membership specifically to the UN General Assembly within three weeks if the US blocks her application at the Security Council, either invoking Uniting for Peace, as um, international lawyer Francis Boyle um, has recommended, or a simple two-thirds majority, as uh, Professor John Quigley, another noted international lawyer, yes. recommends. That's the thing. Now that we have applied to the Security Council, we hope that you know better sense will prevail in the U.S. That they would act wisely and not constantly, you know, isolate themselves with Israel on the wrong side of the law, and they will not veto. But if they do veto, then certainly we have other options. As President Abbas said, we will be going home. The leadership will be meeting to discuss different options. And the General Assembly certainly is an option. And uh, there are different ways. You could go uniting for peace, uh, or you could ask, and we do have a two-thirds majority. Actually, most of the world recognizes the injustice done to the Palestinians. And most of the world has already recognized the Palestinian state. The problem lies within the Israeli occupation and extremist hardline policies and within the U.S. that has put on blinders and has refused to see the injustice of the situation. But what's the timeline on this? What's to stop this from dragging out just as the negotiations have dragged out? No, we won't allow this to drag out. If we so see the that timeline? the Security Council is stalling, then certainly we will seek other options, yes. Um, many Palestinians have criticized the U.N. Uh, membership effort as a as a ploy, basically, to preserve the position of the Palestine Authority, given the, the failure to provide for the safety, the well-being, uh, mm -hmm. much less the self-determination of the Palestinian people. How do you respond to that? By saying that the UN is the natural home for the Palestinians. We are basing all our efforts on international law, and we want the international community to be engaged. This is not subject to Israeli unilateralism and power politics or American monopoly over peace talks. We need the international community to be engaged on the basis of legality. That's why we see this as a process of rectification, a corrective move, taking the issue back home to the, to the international community. And that, 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 those who are skeptical, of course, have the right to be skeptical because the UN so far has taken so many resolutions. They've all been shelved, none of which has been implemented on the ground because Israel enjoys, you know, immunity. It acts, as I said, with full impunity, with no consequences, no accountability whatsoever. But we cannot, in a sense, you know, renege on all the agreements and say that's it. But if the situation continues the way it is, then certainly you will see a breakdown in Palestine. You will see probably even throughout the region a breakout of violence. But this case to the Arabs as a whole, to the Palestinians, to the people of good conscience in the world. is a case of justice. And therefore, justice has to be seen also to be done. And if it continues, then it threatens the stability and security of the whole region. That sort of begs the question, why, why did the, 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 uh, the PLO recognized Israel in 1988 yes. and sought statehood from various mm -hmm countries, over 100 countries, why did why the wait of more than 20 years to get we that, were, get that recognition the, at the UN? Why, the PLO why wasn't recognized that Israel, with? Israel recognized the PLO, but not Palestine. Right. But we why want didn't? the world to recognize Palestine to safeguard our rights so that the, our territory will be designated clearly, not as Netanyahu says, this is disputed land. So it why wasn't it done 20 territory. years ago? Well, we tried to do it repeatedly, but the thing is, it's not a question of getting membership now. It's a question of preventing Israel also from destroying the territorial base of the two-state solution. So we, we have been engaged. Some people say, why did you talk so long, 20 years? No, it's not and some people are saying, you should talk some more. You haven't talked enough. The question is, when history evolves and develops, you have to find the right time, the right opportunity to do the right thing. As I said, conditions on the ground are deteriorating so rapidly that you have to intervene positively to give people a sense of hope that there is still a chance for a peaceful, nonviolent, legal, human and moral solution. And if you don't give them that hope, and if you don't find means of holding Israel accountable, then certainly the current dynamic will run its course and it will be disastrous for everybody. But, but, but I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm not talking about negotiations or not negotiations. You, you got recognition from China, from India, from Brazil. Why did, why did you wait so long to get recognition from the UN? I just explained to you we were engaged in negotiations and we, we got... Why does that preclude we applied, 
We applied to the UN for uh, upgrading our status in 1988 with the, when we accepted the two-state solution and we upgraded the status of the PLO. And we are moving. This is an incremental process.